The Origin of Inequality Between Men and Women, Part 5 of the Oriental Philosopher's Analysis of the Theme of Contemporary Human Confusion. The Origin of Gender Inequality Between Men and Women, Men Above Women, Access to Political and Legal Privileges, Even Social Privileges, this phenomenon is an extremely ancient phenomenon in the historical process of human inequality. Discourse on the Origin of Inequality There is an idea that human beings once universally existed matriarchal society, which I doubt, because at least from the information recorded in written records tells us that the inequality between men and women over women is a constant phenomenon, that is, a piece of scarlet blood that burst out at the beginning of human civilization. Become Inequality Leverage and Crises Since modern history, there has been a fashion in Western culture, that is, economic determinism, whether communism, socialism, or capitalism, all kinds of theories seem to be based on economic determinism. In my opinion, this kind of economic determinism in modern times is one of the ugliest and most vulgar manifestations of the contemporary mainstream cultural form. According to economic determinism, all social forms and human destiny ultimately depend on the state of economic development, it is the energy of the economy, ah, that determines the fate of human beings and the form of society. So, such a concept, in my opinion, is the most concentrated manifestation of the degeneration of contemporary mainstream culture. Because human history, including the history of human economic development, is the manifestation of human will. Man's will and his understanding of life philosophy are the initial motive force for the development of human destiny. According to such an understanding, I do not regard the origin of gender inequality as the result of economic development, a form of human destiny determined by economic energy. I will examine the origin of inequality between men and women from the perspective of life philosophy, or I would like to say. So the origin of inequality between men and women, from the perspective of philosophy of life, we can immediately find a phenomenon, or immediately come to a conclusion, that is, men's life energy is stronger than women's. When it comes to men being stronger than women, one immediately thinks of the difference in physical strength. But it seems to me that this critical difference, this strength, is not physical, or not primarily physical. Because as far as the body is concerned, as far as the body is concerned, that's very physical existence, that's not the decisive factor. From the perspective of life philosophy, men are a rational existence, while women are an emotional existence. What is rationality? In the trilogy of the philosophy of heroic personality, I have fully discussed that the essence of rationality is the ability to survive in the real world of phenomena. The reason, its truth is existence, its ideal is the expansion of the scope of existence in the physical world, and the intensification of the energy of existence itself, which is the realistic goal pursued by reason. And emotion, in the category of the soul, the main difference between emotion and reason is that emotion is idealism, not realism. Reason takes being as its truth, 
and its ideal is the expansion and intensification of the physical category of being. And the emotion that emerges from the soul, he respects not the existence is the truth, he respects the poetic and beautiful existence, is the truth, there is no poetry and beauty, would rather not exist. Therefore, the emotional animal, he is an idealistic expression of life philosophy, then men are rational animals, women are emotional animals, men because of his pragmatic understanding of reality, and in the phenomenal world appears to be more powerful, he is a rational animal and has reality, is the strong man in reality, and is the strong man in reality. And women because it is a spiritual idealism, so he is calling the future, he believes in the future, and in reality, he becomes a life philosophy sense of the weak. I think such a distinction between the strong and the weak is the origin of the inequality between men and women in the sense of life philosophy. In the Western religious spirit, there is a saying that women are created by God with the rib of a man, which can be said to be the most classical expression of the inequality between men and women in the theological sense. So under the control of Confucianism and etiquette in China, Chinese girls, beautiful and natural feet, have been entangled into blood-bursting meat dumplings, which is the ugliest and cruel manifestation of gender inequality. Today, into the 21st century, Islamic fundamentalism, which still covers women's bright crescent faces behind thick black veils, is one of the most persistent manifestations of gender inequality. Of course, in the history of mankind, there are also many phenomena of respecting women, for example, in the ancient culture of China, there are idealistic and poetic chants of respecting women because of the understanding of the aesthetic spirit. Caoji's Luoshen Fu is a classic expression of this chant. Then, in ancient Greek culture, also reflects the respect for women, women are not only understood as the god of beauty, even be understood as the god of wisdom and god of war. It can be seen that in ancient Greek culture, women were respected, but from the long river of human history, men are superior to women, with political, economic, cultural, and social privileges to suppress women, which is a common phenomenon. Although there have been such individual cases as Wu Zetian, she has successfully achieved political rebellion against male oppression. But we can see that after Wu Zetian's death, she could only leave a wordless tablet as his will, which shows that in the end, Wu Zetian still gave in to the male privilege with indignation and helplessness. In short, from the overall phenomenon of human beings, most of human history, at least the written history, is that men override women, resulting in the social phenomenon of inequality between men and women. In my opinion, the root of this social phenomenon is the inequality of philosophical personality, that is, men are rational animals, while women are emotional animals, so this inequality is obviously contrary to human nature and destroys human nature. So how do we go about correcting this inequality, and what happens after we correct this inequality, is something that we'll talk about in the next lecture.